Hey, I thought I would just do a quick video showing you all the items I use to decorate this open SRS. You can either see it as a blessing or a curse that I have my own store because it means that I raid it for things when I'm doing cage layouts. So why not? Let me talk you through the things that we sell in the store. We've got this natural chew toy with a collection of pine cones and rattan and wood for them to enjoy. The space pod, the ones that we sell are completely blue. This was just a, a, a really old top that I had. So if you buy it from us, it will be this blue color. Next here, we have one of the medium size multi branch Javas. Now these obviously come in many different shapes and sizes. Um, so that's the one that I have got. This beautiful colored piece in the center is one of the jumbo ladder toys that we've got. I actually really, really love these. Not just for the colour, I don't know, I just really like them. They're a nice space filler in the cage. If you guys are looking for nice hammocks, um, please go and check out Happy Rat Hammocks on Facebook. Uh, Judith's wonderful and so are her hammocks. We have the Pinecone Perch. Now, I think a lot of people don't really appreciate like how big this is, <laughs> you know, compared to my hand. Like These are pretty big. Obviously, they do vary in size and they're not identical. But these are actually pretty hefty in size and they're also great for like you know hiding little bits of food in and stuff like that as well i've got one of the pine cone forge rings one of my handmade toys that i do now this one's obviously very old and very chewed but we sell two sizes of the bamboo forager we've got a small one and a large one um and as you can see even though this like this is a good few years old this was like really old <laughs> It withstands a lot of chewing, so it takes them a while and you can obviously hide bits of food in there and they have to work to get it out. This here is one of the um, large bamboo branches that we do. We do three sizes, so if you're wondering what size the large is, that gives you a rough idea. Moving down to this green rope, this is the largest size I've got here. As you can see, it snakes around the back. We do have small, medium or large on offer for you. At the back here, this is one of the dragonwood perches. These are natural, so again, they're going to come in slightly different shapes. Um, they've all got that kind of curve or wave to them. Um, I really like these, really nice. The abacus toy. I'm actually really fond of these. I just I don't know, I just really like them. I like the colourfulness on them as well. One thing I forgot before I moved to the bottom half is we've got, uh, this is the medium sized, uh, sorry, the large size bowl. I also sell small size bowls. This is a well loved and chewed foraging toy. Um, you will get a lovely brighter blue one than what the state that is. But they've enjoyed it and I, I like putting little treats and stuff in there for them. So that is the top half of the SRS. Going down to the bottom half. Um, so this is one of the coconut bowl perches um i really like those they're so cute one of the branch perches this is a small size we do small medium large so if you're looking at small it's about that size there so compared to my hand pine cone foraging toy um, this does come with things on the like stuffed in the center and stuff but um mine have obviously had that a little while and taken quite a lot of bits out if you're looking at cargo nets, this is the large one, which as you can see stretches really well across like the center point of the SRS. We also sell a small version. We do sell one of these coconut foragers as well. It has a lot more bits to it when you originally get it. Again, my girls have had the time of her life taking all the seagrass bits off of it. The tr natural triangle swing. That's really cute. And that is one of the small bamboo perches. So if you're looking say one of the smaller sizes it's still like although it's quite thin like it's still got um it's quite long so it's not really tiny when you think of some being small um and that is kind of it oh no wait one more thing oh god get right down the bottom this is the um rat sized hide and this is exactly what it's made for if you have one of these cages with a drop down base you can get the rat hide and pop it in there and then you can see them sleeping Funnily enough, mine starts right up against the pair specs and then for whatever reason over the course of like the, the couple of weeks between cage cleans, they end up pushing it and it sits somewhere in the middle. But you know, whatever makes them happy. Eh? So that is how I've decorated the cage this time. Oh, I almost forgot the things on the door. I kind of forget when I've got the doors open that I have other things attached to it. 
This is the Holy Foraging Cube, which again my girls have enjoyed. I've now flipped over, they've absolutely destroyed one side, so I've uh, rotated it round. This is the Star Dangle, and this is one of the coloured perches. We do red, yellow and green, um, stock varies, just depends what I get in. So yeah, I just thought I would do a video because it's been a while since I've done a video. So yeah, how to decorate your cage with rat accessory stuff. Hope you enjoyed and I will try and get more videos up. I have been absolutely lacking, but life just gets in the way. Time to put the girls back in and see what they think of it.